Hi, uh, GSIS student. Uh, now, let's talk about probability. Probability is a basics or basis for statistics. So you should understand uh, uh, very well about uh, probability. In the last uh, lecture, we learned the measure of central location, measure of availability, measure of relative standing, measure of linear relationship. Okay. And today, we will learn probability. Assigning probability, event and relationship between events, Joint marginal conditional probability, probability rule, probability tree, base law. What's the basic uh, definition of a random experiment sample space uh, requirement of probability? Definition. Definition of a random experiment. Random experiment is any process that generates one or several possible outcomes. Example, believe a coin, roll a die. Several possible outcomes. Let's see. In flipping a coin case, what is the outcome? Has and tap. Roll a die. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sample space of a random experiment is the set of all experiment outcome. Sample space. You understand what is a sample space? Flipping a co coin has a, or tails. Roll a die, one, two, six. Okay. Requirement of probability. The probability of any outcome must lie between zero to zero and one. The sum of the probability of all the outcome in a sample space must be one. Approach to assigning probability. There are three ways to assign probability denoted by probability O, Z, O, Z, O, I, whatever, to outcome O, I, namely, classical approach is uh, based on equally likely events, relative frequency, assigning probabilities, based on experimentation or historical data. Subjective approach, assigning probability based on the assigner's subjective judgment. I'm going to explain one by one uh, these three approach. Classical approach. If an experiment has n possible outcomes, this method would assign probability of one of n to each outcome. It is necessary to determine the number of possible outcomes. Experiment is a rolling a die. Outcome is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Probability each sample point has 1 over 6 chance of occurring. Experiment. This is a random experiment. Rolling two dice and observing the total. Outcome is 2, 3, dot, 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 12. As you can see, this is a all possible outcome for this uh, experiment. Experiment is a rolling two dice and observing the total. Example. Probability 2, outcome, 2 is outcome, 1 over 36. Probability of 6, 5 over 36. Probability 10, 3 over 36. So this is a how to assign probability in classical approach. Zhang's computer shop tracks the number of a desktop computer system it sells over months, 30 days.
So this part, first column, desktop sold, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Number of days, 1, 2, 10, 12, 5. Add this one, 30 days. So for example, 10 days out of 30, two desktop was sold. From this, we can construct the probability of event. That is the number of desktop sold on a given day. So now, we are going to explain with this example the relative frequency approach. So from previous uh, example, we can construct the probability. This is a desktop sold probability. So this is a total 30, so 1 over 30, 2 over 30, 10 over 30. Then you can get the probability. So we can interpret this probability. There is a 40% chance junk store will sell three desktop on any given day. We can get this probability using relative frequency approach. Third one is a subjective approach. In the subjective approach, we define probability as the degree of belief that you hold in the currents of an event. POP 60% is based on current conditions. There is a 60% chance of rain. POP means probability of a precipitation. POP is defined in different ways by different forecasters. But basically, it's subjective probability based on past observation combined with current weather condition. Now let's define events. Event is a collection of one or more simple, simple events in a uh, simple space. The probability of an event is equal to sum of the probability of a simple event that constitute the event. Now let's talk about how to interpret probability. No matter which method is used to assign probability all will be interpreted in the relative frequency approach. That's why relative frequency is a relative frequency approach is important because no matter which method is used, we can interpret probability in terms of a relative frequency approach. For example, government already game where one number Total over 49 are picked. The classical approach would predict probability for any one number being picked as 1 over 49. It is 2.04%. Uh, we interpret this to mean that in the long run, each number will pick 2.04% of the time. Now we are going to talk about joint marginal conditional probability. We study method to determine probability of event that result from combining other events in various ways. There are several types of combination and relationship between events. Complement event, intersection of event, union of event, mutually exclusive event, dependent and independent event. First, complement of event. The complement of event A is defined to be the event consisting of all sample points that are not in A. Complement of A is denoted by A complement. As you can see, A complement. The Venn diagram below, this is a called the Venn diagram below illustrate concept of complement. 
This yellow part is A, the other side is A, a complement. So A probability A plus probability, probability A plus probability A complement is equal to 1. Let's see example. The rectangle stores all possible toss of two dice. 1, 1, 1, 2, 6, 6. A is event. A is a toss is totaling 7. Then this is a A set. A set. 1, 6, 2, 5, so total 7. So this outcome is a total 7. Probability total 7 plus probability total not equal to 7 is equal to 1. Intersection of event A and B, now we are defining intersection of event A and B is the set of all sample points that are in both A and B, both A and B. Intersection is denoted A and B, or you can use uh, intersection, right? Joint probability of A and B is the probability of intersection of A and B. So this yellow part, Pro that is a probability A intersection B. For example, let A toss where first toss is 1, B toss where second toss is 5. Intersection is a 1, 5. So joint probability A and B is a probability intersection A and B. So that is probability A intersection B is a 1 over 36. Are you following me? Are you with me? Union of two events A and B is the event containing all sample points that are in A or B or both. So union of A and B is denoted A union B, A or B, or you can use this notation. This is a union point. Let's see example. Let A toss where first toss is 1, B is the toss, the second toss is 5, then A union B is here. Now let's define mutually exclusive event. When two events are mutually exclusive, that is, the two events cannot occur together, their joint probability is zero. Hence, mutually ex exclusive, no intersection event. Mutually exclusive means no point in common. For example, A toss totaling 7, B totaling 11. There is no intersection point. Then it is a called mutually exclusive. So this is a basic relationship of probability. Complement of event, union of event, intersection of event, and mutually exclusive event. Don't forget that. Let's see examples. Why are some mutual fund managers more successful than others? One possible factor is where the manager earned his or her MBA. The following table compares the mutual fund performance against the ranking of the school where the fund manager earned their MBA. As you can see here, uh, ranking of the school. Top 20 MBA program, not top 20 MBA program. Here, you can see mutual fund performance. Mutual fund outperformed the market. Mutual fund doesn't outperform the market. The meaning of this point 11 is here. This is a probability that mutual fund outperform and 
The manager was in top 20 MBA program. It is called joint probability. Alternatively, we could introduce shorthand notation to represent event. AO means fund manager graduated from top 20 MBA program. A2, fund manager did not graduate from top 20 MBA program. B1, fund outperforms the market. B2, fund does not outperform the market. So, this table, A1, A2, B1, B2, Instead of uh, using this all of English sentence, we use, use A1, A2, B1, B2. And meaning of 0 0.06 is a probability A2 intersection B1 is uh, equal to 0 0.06, meaning that the probability of the manager of from market and the manager is not from top 20 M. Uh, top 20 MBA school. Uh, now we can uh, introduce one uh, important uh, probability concept, marginal probability. Marginal probability. Marginal probability are computed by adding across row. Adding across row. Adding across down column. That is, uh, they are calculated in the margin of the table. So this is a margin of the table. This is a margin of the table. Probability A2. How do you calculate probability A2? This plus this. So probability A2 is a 0 0.06 plus 0 0.54. What is probability? Fund manager is not from top school. Uh, that is what? This value, 0.6. Probability B1, 0 0.11 plus 0 0.6, meaning that what is probability? Fund outperform the market. Fund outperform the market. Regardless of ranking. Okay. So 1 means what? Both margin must add to 1. Now you are ready to uh, run conditional probability. Now I am going to define conditional probability. Conditional probability is used to determine how two events are related. Conditional probability is used to determine how two events are related. That is, we can determine probability of one event given The occurrence of another related event. Conditional probability are written as probability A given B. You read probability A given B and read as the probability A given B and is calculated by probability A given B is equal to probability A intersection B divided by probability B. This is, a, you can uh, see this as a definition of a Again, the probability of an event given that another event has occurred is called conditional probability. Probability A given B is equal to probability A intersection B divided by probability B. Probability B given A is a probability B intersection A, probability B intersection A, and probability A intersection B is the same. So probability A intersection B divided by probability A. Note how A given B and B given A are related. Now, let's try to answer this question. What's the probability that fund will outperform the market given that the manager graduated from top 20 MBA program? So, fund performance is related to uh, manager graduated from top 20 MBA program. You can check this using conditional probability. I'm going to read uh, the question again. What's the probability that fund will outperform the market given that 
The manager graduated from top 20 MBA program. Thus, we want to know what is the probability What is probability? Probability B1 given A1. B1 is a fund output from the market. A1 fund manager graduated from top 20 MBA program. So the the, the previous question, this question is uh, denoted by this notation. We already know uh, this table. So from the, this table, probability B1 given A1 is uh, probability A1 intersection B1 probability A1. How do you know this one? This is from conditional probability. So probability A1 intersection B1 is uh, here, point 11. Probability A1 from marginal probability. We use uh, what? To calculate conditional probability, we use uh, intersection, conservable intersection probability and marginal probability. Then you can calculate uh, point, uh, two, seven, five. So there is a 27.5% chance that their fund will outperform the market given that the man is graduated from top 20 MBA program. One of the objectives of calculating conditional probability is to determine whether two events are related. In particular, you would like to know whether they are independent. That is, if the probability of one event is not affected by the occurrence of the other event. Two events A and B are said to be independent if probability A given B is a probability A or probability B given A is equal to probability B. For example, we saw that probability B1 given A1 is a 0.275. The marginal probability for B1 is a 0.17. Since probability B1 given A1 is not equal to B1, B1 and A1 are not independent. Stated another way, they are dependent. That is, probability of one event B1 is affected by the occurrence of the other event. Fund performance is affected by school ranking. Okay, in this case, just in this case. Now, union. Uh, we stated earlier that the union of two events is denoted as A or B. We can use this concept to answer the question like determine the probability that a fund outperformed the market or the manager graduated from top 20 MBA program. Uh, for, the, for this question, fund outperformed means B1. Fund outperform B1. Many is graduate from top 20 MBA program A1. So probability A1 or B1. Okay, we can denote using this notation. A1 or B1 occurs whenever. So in this case, A1, B1 occur. A1, B2 occur and A2, B1 occur. So add these three, then it is a 0.46. This shows previous explanation. Okay, add uh, this and this. Or alternatively, uh, taking 100% and subtract all when doesn't A1 or B1 occur? 
So 1 minus A2 intersection B2. This one. 1 minus uh, 0.45. So you can get the uh, 0.46. Now let's talk about probability rules and trees. We introduce three rules uh, that enable us to calculate the probability of a more complex event from the probability of simpler events. Complement rule, multiplication rule, and addition rule. First, uh, complement rule. As we saw earlier, with the complement event, the complement rule gives us the probability of for event not occurring. That is probability A complement is a 1 minus A probability A. For example, in the simple roll of die, the probability of number 1 being rolled is 1 over 6. The probability that some number other than 1 will be rolled is 1 minus 1 over 6 is equal to 5 over 6. Now, multiplication rule. The multiplication rule is used to calculate the joint probability of two events. It is based on the formula for conditional probability. We defined conditional probability earlier. Probability A given B is equal to probability A intersection B divided by probability B. If we multiply both sides of the equation probability B, then we have a probability A intersection B is equal to probability A given B times probability B. Likewise, probability A intersection B is equal to probability B given A times probability A. If A and B are independent event, then probability A intersection B is equal to probability B times probability A, probability A times probability B, if A and B are independent event. Now let's see example. Graduate statistics course has seven male and three female students. The professor wants to select two students at random to help or conduct the research project. What is the probability that the two students chosen are female? Well, I, that event A represents event that the first student is female. Then probability A is equal to 3 over 10.3. What about the second student? Let B represent the event that second student is female. The probability B given A is 2 over 9 is 0.22. That is the probability of a choosing female student given that the first student chosen is 2 female over 9 remaining student 2 over 9. So, what is the probability that the two students chosen are female? Let's try to answer this. Thus, we want to answer the question, what is the probability A intersection B? Probability A intersection B is equal to probability A times probability B given A. So 3 over 10 times 2 over 9. So 6 over 90 is equal to 0 0.067. There is a 6.7% chance that the professor will choose two female students from a graduate class of 10. We put to example 6.5. The professor who teaches the course is suffering from the flu. 
and will be unavailable for two classes. The professor's replacement will teach the next two classes. His style is to select one student at random and pick on him or her to answer questions during that class. What is the probability that the two students chosen are female? Let A represent the event that the first student is female. Probability A is 3 over 10.3. What about the second student? Let B represent the event that the second student is female. Probability B given A is equal to 3 over 10.3. That is, the probability of choosing a female student given that the first student chosen is unchanged since the student selected in the first class can be chosen in the second class. Probability A in the section B pro equal probability A times probability B given A is equal to 3 over 10 times 3 over 10. So 9 over 100 is equal to point. Zero 09. Okay, this is uh, what we run today. First, we run measure of central location, mean, medium mode. Second, measures of variability, range, standard deviation, variance. Third, measure of relative standing, percentile, quartile, box plot. Then we run measures of linear relationship, covariance. Correlation, then you learn how to assign probability, event, relationship, relationship between events, joint, marginal, conditional probability, and probability rules. Okay, let's finish. Before finish, uh, we have a three part exercise as before. Each exercise has four questions, so you have uh, 12 uh, questions. Solve this problem and submit when you meet upright. See you soon. See you soon. See you soon.